Okay, so far we've done a lot on quadratic equations, but I want to take this step further. We've done on factorization and quadratic equation. So um, I want you to understand what completing the square is. I'll try to be as fast as I can. Um, for example, if I have something like um, 40, 48, if I want to make it a perfect square, I will say this is equal to 49 minus 1. So I can have a perfect square of 7, um, times 7 minus 1, which is 7 squared minus 1. This is just the basic word line for completing the square. I will explain as time goes on. So, if I now have something like this, um, 49 um, minus 1, uh, okay, if I was doing like 48, it's equal to, let me say, y, for example. I now have it to be what now? 49 equal to y, taking place of this now. I can have a type of y, then I can have what now. 49 is equal to y plus 1. Then I can have 49 to become 7 squared. Uh, or I can have it even from here. And then I have y plus 1 plus 1. Then I look for the square root of 7 squared. And then I look for the square root of what now? Of y plus 1 plus or minus. It's very important for you to know that the square root of every positive number uh, is going to give you a plus or minus. Let me try and explain that to you. Uh, if I'm asking you to find the square root of, say, um, 64, it's going to give you plus or minus 8. Take note of that, it's very, very important. Plus or minus 8. Because um, plus 8 times plus 8 will give me what now? 64. And I know that what now? Minus 8 times what? Minus 8 will give me what now? 64. Minus minus cancel give me what now? Plus. Is that alright? Okay. You have to be very patient about completing this. It's very easy. I just want to have a basic understanding. That's why I'll go through all this trouble. But it's very, very easy. If I ask you to complete this square, for example, I'm asking you, what do I need to add to this value to make it a perfect square? And then, okay, let's say I'm adding um, x squared plus px. I'm adding what now? I'm adding a q so that it becomes a perfect square. Look very well, if it's perfect square, it means that I'm having something that multiplies itself two times. Let's say, for example, I want it to become something like a x plus a, and then what now? x plus a, that's two times, right? So let's say that, and this will give me actually x plus a all squared. So I want to see how I'll add q to get what now? x plus a all square. I'm trying to make this a perfect square. What am I adding to it to make it a perfect square? So I say I'm adding q to it, then I'm getting something like this in this order. So let's see what we can do with this. How the relationship between p, q, and a what now plays out. Is that right? Okay, just a reminder. Um, if I expand this, I don't want to, I just want to remind you with the expansion before now. Um, if you expand this value, this is the same as this times this, right? I know very well that this is going to multiply this and this multiply this. So I'm having this what now? X times the whole of this plus A times the whole of this. So this multiply as give me this. And this multiplies give me what now? This. Is that okay? So eventually I know that if I add well, these two terms are common, AX and AX, I have one AX and one AX, I add and get what now? Two AX. So it means that what now? That X squared plus A is the same as what now? X squared plus two AX plus what now? A squared. If I expand it, is that alright? Okay. Okay, so we have seen that what that this is equal to this, right? So since this and this are this is now that they are the same order, a product equation, product equation, uh, product expression, product expression, the same order, right? We cannot compare. So here the equation of x is what now? For x squared, the coefficient here is what? I have one and what now? And one. And that's it is it. One and one. Is that right? For what now? For for x, the x value, sorry. For the x value, I have what? P on one side. And on this side, I have what now? 2a. So p is equal to what now? 2a. Is that right? Um, then for this one now, the constant value, I have that q is equal to what now? a squared. Now let's see the relationship between them. All right? OK, so you can see that what from here, if we make a the subject, the value of by 2, a becomes p over, one, over 2. And then if I use p over 2 to replace a here, I'll get that q is called p over 2 what now squared. So I can now use this value for p. Since the original expression was in p, I can use these values for p to replace what now? a and q respectively. OK, so if we replace um, a squared, OK, we use um, p 
p over 2 to replace a, and then we use p over 2 squared to replace q here, we have that this becomes px. So what I'm adding is going to be p all over 2 all squared, and then what I will have on this side becomes x plus 1 right now, p over 2, and then this is x. So this becomes what now? The method of the property is squared. So what I'm adding to this, if I want to add to the original equation, it was x squared plus px. What I'm adding to it is going to be what now? p over 2 squared. And then what I'm going to get on the other side will be x plus p all over 2. Okay, I'll see how I can use that for equations in a moment. All right? Let's do this again. So what am I adding to this to make it perfect? Square, x squared plus px. I'm going to be adding p over 2 squared. Then what I'll get eventually will be x plus p all over 2 or square if I expand. I'll try a question so you can get it very well. It'll make more sense now. If I have x squared plus um, 6x, I want to make this a perfect square. I'll have what now? x squared plus what? Plus 6x. Well, I'm adding what now? 6 over 2 squared. Then what I'll get eventually will be what now? x plus what? 6 over 2 all squared. We'll try this out and see. Remember that 6 over 2 is same as 1 as 3. So I can rewrite this as x squared plus 6x plus 3 squared, which is 9 actually. And then it translates to give me what now? To give me x plus, what is the now? 3 all what now? All squared. Is that right? I'll show you that in a minute. Sorry. Okay, yes. Alright, so this is what we have. We want to make this perfect square, we added what now? 6 over 2 squared, and then what we got eventually is what now? x plus what? 6 over what now? 2 all squared. So let me prove this to you. I have x plus 3 times x plus 3. Let's see what that to give us this. Let's try this out. x times x is what now? x squared. x times 3 is what now? It's 3x. I'm finished with x. Now we come to 3. 3 times x is what now? Plus 3x again. And then 3 times 3 is what now? Plus 9. So I'll add up again x squared plus what? 6x plus, plus 9. So you see that what now? This is actually what? A perfect square. And then when I what now? Factorize. I'll end up getting x plus 3 plus square. I'm sure you get it this, right? So what is now doing with this perfect square? It's x squared plus 10x. What am I adding? I'm adding 10 over 2 squared. And then I'll get what now? x plus what is inside here 10 over 2 squared this is what it's going to be so you know that what now x squared plus what plus 10x i'm actually adding this is 5 squared which is 25 then i'm going to get it is translating with what now x plus what plus 5 all squared is that right okay so this gave me this but this is just the basics for everything if you understand this the whole thing is what now is something else and then you can move from here there are other things that come but this is the major challenge for what now for complete the square method if i spread this out i'll get x plus 5 times x plus 5 i expand brother this is x times all of this x times x is x squared x times 5 is 5x this 5 you multiply by x is 5x again. Then 5 times 5 is what now? It's 25. So if I bring it down here, x squared, these are common terms. 5x plus 5x, what about now? 10x plus 1, 25. Our original what? Equation. Just that easy, correct? We're going to try this for me very quickly and then you come up, right? Now let me try this. I believe that your solution will be right, but let me just do it for you on my own end. So what are we adding here? We're adding what now? Um, 4x, what I'm going to add, we do what? 4 over 2 squared, and then we're going to end up getting what now? x plus what? Plus 4 over 2 all squared. This one we're going to have what now? x x squared plus what? 2x, what am I adding? I'm adding what now? 2 over 2 squared, and then it becomes what? x plus what is inside here? 2 over 2 all squared. Is that right? Okay, let's do this again. Under x squared, that's what? 2x. I'm adding what now? 2 over what? This guy over 2 all squared. Then to translate, give me what? Not x squared, x plus what? Plus what is inside here? 2 over 2. 
or spell, right? You take what is here, what is here, bring them together and that. Is that okay? Now for this one, I'm going to have what now? X squared plus what? 7x. What am I adding? I'm adding 7 over 2 all squared, right? Yeah. So it ends up giving me what now? This x and this what now? 7 over 2 all what now? Squared. Is that right? So in this place, I'm going to have what now? Sorry. I have x squared minus 1 now. 12x. Plus, what am I adding now? I'm adding what? Minus 12 over 2. Same thing of that. It's minus 12 now. Minus 12 over 2 is what I'm dividing. Squared. Then I'll end up getting what? I'll end up getting x. What's inside here? 12 minus 1. Minus 12, 12 over 2. All right now. Square. Is that right? Yeah. 